What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone and I'm going to welcome you to a brand new video and today we got a pretty fun Pokemon opening being two three pack Sam's Club exclusives featuring a Pokeball tin in both of these as well as two mini tins. And so this is going to be a pretty exciting opening as there will be some evolution packs involved as well as some possible other Sun and Moon or Sword and Shield packs. We don't quite, I haven't had a chance to open one of these yet, so I don't know quite what's going to be inside, but nonetheless, pretty excited to find out with y'all. And so I think without further ado, let's rip some packs. Welcome back everybody. And without further ado, let's get into the Sam's Club exclusive three packs from the Pokemon Company. And so I will show you a little bit about what they have to offer here. And so you're going to see in this three pack, you're going to get a Pokeball tin consisting of one of a few different types. So here I'm going to have both a Dusk Ball and a Pokeball. But some of the other options you can find can be a Premier Ball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and I think a Level Ball in terms of the different ones available. Set this one aside. And then you also get two of these mini tins featuring a bunch of the Kanto Pokemon. So you can see we have a Mew and Psyduck over here. We have a Mewtwo tin over here. And here on the other one, we're going to have a Dragonite and a Charizard. And I think there's one more being a Pikachu and maybe another Pokemon could be wrong, but try to get these with as much diversity in them as possible. And let's see here on the back, you'll see we will find uh, in the mini tins, we'll find two Pokemon TCG booster packs, which I believe one of those should be a guaranteed evolutions pack. You'll get a metallic Pokemon coin and a Pokemon art card from this mini tin. And so yes, there's all five. So I think the Pikachu is the other one. And then inside the Pokeball, we will get three Pokemon TCG booster packs and a Pokemon coin. And depending on when these Pokeballs were made, you know, the packs can pretty heavily differ whether or not you get any X and Y, but more than likely it will be mostly Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield packs. And so I think we should start off here with the normal Pokeball tin. And so we'll set this one right down next to me and let's rip this bad boy open. And so these cost about 25 bucks for uh, retail at Sam's Club and so of course one of the special things about Sam's Club is you do have to have a membership there And so these were kind of put all over. I think these came out in my area somewhere about early July late June And I pretty much was able to find actually a bunch of these of course only grabbed a few because I didn't need that many but That's all right, you know, so hopefully other people in your area let some you know around for y'all Hopefully y'all were able to some find some of these the resale form isn't too high. I think somewhere around 35 to 45 bucks, maybe a little bit higher as of the time this gets posted. But as you can see in front of me, getting this for 25 bucks, you get the two tens, which I think normally would be about nine to 10 bucks a piece on their own, as well as a $12 Pokeball. So a great deal nonetheless to find these for 25 bucks. And so I think we'll start off with the Pokeball tin. So let's cut this boy open. Get her. And so if y'all had a chance to open these, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments. Let me know what kind of pools you got. Did you enjoy the pack selection that you saw from it? Any issues maybe, you know, did you have trouble finding these? And if so, why was that? I think it's time to finally see what packs we get inside. So we will pop this bad boy open. And we got a sun and moon base set. Burning Shadows and a Breakpoint. So pretty fun little group right there. Obviously, I think we saved the Burning Shadows, do Sun and Moon, then Breakpoint, and a Volcanion co coin right there. One little token to add to it. And then of course, afterwards, you get to keep this nice Pokeball collectible. Set him right over there. And so, of course, one of the issues with having these in the Pokeballs, as you can see, they get pretty messed up over time. And so that's, of course, one of the things you take risk in when getting these is that 
you know, either the tins or the Pokeball can kind of mess up the packs themselves and just hope that they come out as best condition as possible. You know, usually with the actual hit cards being kind of in the middle, shouldn't have too much of an issue, but we will see. And like I said, to celebrate the chance of these having X and Y packs, got some nice X and Y friends, X and Y Evolutions friends there in the back being Mega Charizard EX and the Mega Pidgeot EX that we pulled in the Kanto Power Collection box opening. And so I think without further ado, let's rip into these packs. Let's give you this code card right here. And so for the sun and moon, it will be four cards to the back, two. And let's see, we will start off with a Surskit, a Wingle, Pop Poplio, Growlithe, Grubbin, Fairy Type Energy, Trumbeak, Hypno, Lima, a Makuhita Reverse, and a Crobat Hollow. Nice little hollow to start this opening. That's that bad boy right there. We'll split them up into the three piles, being Uncommons Commons, just regular reverses, and non hollow rares. And then pretty much all of our reverse uh, reverse hollow rares, hollows, full arts, EXs, GXs, and whatever else we may find. So, we'll move on to the next pack being XY Breakpoint. Code card right there. And we turn around a little. Hopefully you got the chance to see my breakpoint opening where we had 10 booster packs that we were actually able to find at a local family dollar. That's some pretty good pulls coming out of that one. I was pretty happy with it. So we got a Pancham, Growlithe, Stantler, Puzzle Time, Bursting Balloon, we have a Pancham Reverse, and a Scizor EX. Nice little EX right there. Put a sleeve on that boy right there. And so, already got two hits to start this opening. And then follow it up with the Burning Shadows. With, of course, the probably biggest card being that we can get out of here. Of the Charizard Rainbow. Full art. So there's a code card. And this will be four with two to the back after that. So we will start it off with a Meowth. A Lowland Vulpix, Wimpod, Togedemaru, Krogan, Metal Energy, a Guzma, Super Scoop Up, Bumeria, a Tangle Reverse, and a Raichu Hollow. Looks like he's fighting a Krogan or running away from a Krogan up right over there on the side. A fun little hollow art. And so three packs and three pulls not a bad way to start this at all and next we will do the Mew and Psyduck get this plastic off <coughs> quick cough there we go oh and we're just going little by little let's see if we can speed this up there. So a nice little art we have here. We pop this bad boy open. And so set the coin there. Get these packs out. It looks like, and there's your little art card that you get in there. Set that off to the side, but it looks like we get, of course, the Evolutions pack and a Crimson Invasion. So not fair enough. Followed by the Antor- Entei coin right there. And so, of course, <laughs> it makes sense with the fact that with an Evolutions pack, you get something like Crimson Invasion to follow it up. Sounds like the thing Pokemon likes to do. And so, without further ado, we will start off with the Crimson Invasion. Of course, there still are some good cards you can pull from that set, being the Boss's Orders full art, as well as the Rainbow Gyarados. We'll be looking for those as we get into it. But we have a Ghastly, Corefish, Minchino, Weedle, Cubone, Dark Energy, Fighting Memory, 
a Diggersby, Marwag, we have a Bunnelby Reverse, and a Salazzle, Hollow. So all hits so far, we'll see when our luck decides to run out. Hopefully it doesn't run out on this Evolution pack, considering that's kind of going to be one of the big highlights as to, you know, why we really want this to begin with, but the green coat card seems to ruin the party anyways. So this will be three to the three cards and then two to the back from there. So coming up, we have a Staryu, Onyx, Fairy type Energy, Voltorb, Tangela, Potion, Metapod, Professor Oak's Hint. We got a Machamp Break. A nice break card right there. So of course, even though with the green code card, you can still get something in that reverse spot. And so a nice break card to add and a Farfetch Rare. Technically, I would say that we still have the pulls going with that Machamp Break, which I do not have. And so that's a fun addition right there. Let's get these bad boys out and on to the next one. So I noticed that they actually have a convenient opening thing that I am just completely oblivious to. But that was so much simpler and I don't have to use the razor. And so with the Mewtwo on the front, we will next open this one. Looks like they will be giving us the same ent Entei coin followed by the evolutions and crimson invasion packs with your old Mewtwo art right on the inside. Just punch the camera real quick. And the two packs. We'll start with the crimson invasion. Yeah. We got a Swablu, Shelmet, Duffel, Cacnea, Staryu, Metal Energy, Peaking Red card, got Milk Tank, Hakamo, or Haka Akamo, or ha Hakamo O, Hakamo O, I think that's what it says. Unfortunately, I missed the Sun and Moon games, and so some of these I just did never learn to print how to pronounce, but a nice reverse where we'll follow that up, being a Houndu. There you go, nice little shine to it, and a Crawdon non-hollow rare. A little toss sleeve on that Houndoom right there. And the last pack of this first Sam's Club box. Plenty of pulls, it seems like. And so, code card, followed by trick. And let's see what we get here. So we got a Seal, Charmander, Magnemite, the Water Energy, Growlithe, Potion, Metapod, Professor Oak's Hint, we have a Magnemite Reverse, and a Stormy non hollow Rare. So nothing out of that Evolutions pack. And that will finish off the first one, but we're not quite done yet because we got two of these. And so without further ado, we'll break into this one. Pull out the Pokeball. Nope. And they're just kind of stuck with glue back there. One came off a lot easier, followed by the other one. So we'll toss that to the side, but Two mini tins. Set this right over here. And the dusk ball. And so, like the mini tins, I decided not to even acknowledge the fact that it does have easy opening. So we will tear into it. down. If you enjoy watching me struggle with these, hopefully you get a laugh out of it. Because these seem to be my worst nightmare. Uh, there we go. And that will do it. And so we have the Dust Ball here. Dust Ball, a fun addition to the Pokeball collections that they've had. We will pop this open. 
and inside we will get the same Volcanian coin. So it looks like these are going to be a very similar setup to the last one we opened, being Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, and Breakpoint. So starting off with the Sun and Moon. Nice Lunala on the front. Code card right there. One, two, three, four, one, two. And let's see what we get. Surskin, Brella, Crawballer, Marini, Rog and Rolla, Fire Type Energy, Rare Candy, Brioni, Alolan Persian. We have a nice Torkoal Reverse Rare and an Incineroar Non Hollow Rare. Next up will be Breakpoint with the Mega Scissor on the front. Code card there. This will again be three cards being XY set. So we will start off with a Shelter, Growlithe, Esper, Psyduck, C Dot, a Splash Energy, Tudo Wudo, a Tierno, a C Dot Reverse, and a ho -O ex <laughs> and so if you had the chance to see the last breakpoint opening i did with the 10 booster packs this is now the second one i have and so that happened not too long ago and so that's why that's so fresh in my memory that is probably one of my favorite full art full art pulls that we can get from that breakpoint set except for maybe the secret rare gyarados and so i am more than happy to have that Pretty decent centering, maybe a little off, a little fat left side we got right there. But hey, I'm not gonna be complaining one bit with that pull. A nice Polo EX card with the rainbow at the bottom. That's a fun one to pull. And so, you know, going through all the different chant, all the different kinds of packs that we can find in this. You know, if you have a certain set that you enjoy the most out of all that there was to offer, you know, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to hear about it. But we have a Rhyhorn, Ralts, Tangela, Tynamo, Crab Brawler, Fire Type Energy, Lumeria, Seedra, Wobbuffet, a Cutivly Reverse, and a Necrozma. E or GX right there. A nice one that I don't think I've had beforehand. Sun and Moon Legendary right there. So that will finish out Pokeball. So plenty of pulls all around. So we'll now get into the Crimson Invasion and Evolutions. Unless for some reason Pokemon Company decide to really mess with us with these. But I highly doubt that. And so rip these bad boys open. Get off the plastic. And there is the Dragonite tin. Pop this bad boy open. And intake coin. Two packs. All by our boy Dragonite just chilling in the back. Set that to the side, and two packs, Crimson Invasion. Let's see what we got here. Good card. One, two, three, four. So you know I count. We have a Vienna, Aaron, Ghastly, Corfish. Chino, Fine Type Energy, Devoured Field, Haunter, Akamo, -o, a Zwyless Reverse, and a Starmie Non Hollow Rare. <coughs> Quick cough. Followed by the Evolution Pack with Mega Venusaur 
chilling on the front. And so a nice faded code card to start. That will be three cards. And let's see what it gives us. So we have a fighting type energy, Staryu, Tangela, Tata, Weedle, Charizard Spirit Link, Cross Our Fingers, maybe they decided to give us that today, Charmeleon, it's a sign, Double Colorless Energy, a Growlithe Reverse, and a Mega Pidgeot EX. And so, another nice Ultra Rare Pool. Added into the one we have right there. And one more left Charizard on the front. Let's see if we can get them to finish out this opening. Two packs left. It's been a fun one so far. Actually had really good pulls if you compare like how many packs we've opened to how many hits we've had. I'm saying we're definitely hitting right over 75% in our packs. Probably way better than average, so I will not complain about anything else we get from here. No more diversity in the coins. And our Charizard chilling back there. Close that lid up. Evolutions to the side. And Crimson Invasion in front of us. There. Code card. Two, three, four. Let's see, and we got a magic card. Chimeco. Pikachu. Strevis. Spoink. Water Energy. A Lowland Graveler. Laron. Gladian. A Skiddo Reverse. And a Registeel Non Hollow Rare. And so without further ado, final pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic going here. It's been a really fun opening, really fun rip. Happy with what I got here. Really fun to get to open some old packs. Sam's Club, you outdid yourself as always. Really happy to have you around. So we will start off with a Weedle, Electabuzz, Drowsy, Staryu, a Metal Type Energy, a Flying Pikachu, nice little extra rare. Lost right there. We got a Coughing, Misty's Determination, a Switch Trainer, and a Clefairy Hollow. I haven't had a Evolutions Hollow in a while, and so not bad little one right there. Of course, not in the original base set, but they decided to add four XY Evolutions. A nice pattern they got there in the back. That's a fun way to end it. And so, overall, some pretty good pulls. Let's go back through it. Nice Clefairy Hollow, Mega Pidgeot EX, the Necrozma GX. Probably the best pull we got out of this, the Polo EX Full Art. Found in Reverse, nice like, Champ Break. Salazzle and Raichu Hollows, the Scizor EX, and the, Crobo, the Crobat Hollow. And so, I think that is going to complete this opening. Guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite one is. Check out some of my previous videos, like the Breakpoint opening I talked about, or the last Evolutions opening I had with the, power, with the Kanto Power Collection box. And so I think that's going to do it here, guys. Thank you all for watching.